explain more about them later. I've got embarrassing stories. <laughs>
some technical difficulties. I, I got I got to talk about this. Um, first of all, Willie Jones the third on drums. <laughs> Billy Thornton on bass. This is one of the things I love so much about this music in particular. We've never played that song, never even really talked about it. And it's just this sound of cooperation and listening to each other. I met Willie Jones, we can't figure out the exact year. It's sometime in the 90s we played together. We haven't really played together since. And uh, right away it's just like no time has passed. I'm so glad you're here, man. Thank you. Uh, Billy Thornton is from the jazz capital of the world, uh, Tifton, Georgia. <laughs> and I met Billy when he was 16 years old. I used to be able to joke that that was just a few years ago, but we can't do that anymore now, can we? Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I like playing with him so much because he just cooperates and instigates and does all kinds of good things. So I'm glad he's here. What we're going to do all night tonight is play music. Tamara came up, came up with the idea of calling this the Freedom Jazz Trio, but what that really means is we're going to be as authentic on stage as possible, play from the heart, and play things with no predetermination really of what it is. We'll pick a song, maybe we talk about it for 10 seconds, but uh, hopefully some tragedies will happen and we'll fix it, it'll be like magic, or the vice versa, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, this next song um, is by Roy Ayers, the great vibraphonist, and it's called Cocoa Butter, and uh, it's got uh, like a little groove to it. We've never done it. So you won't know if something goes wrong, but, <laughs> but we'll fix it. And I'm, I'm going to read it, which I don't read much. We'll see. Thank you. 
this is probably the first jazz song I ever learned. And I um, learned it off of a VCR. Um, that was a device. Um, I'm not making this up. I, the, the first song that we played, by the way, was great. Yeah, what's the next song? <laughs> no, I meant now, but no, you're right, Coco Butter. Uh, no, this this is from The Wizard of Oz. I didn't even know when I learned it. I didn't know it was a famous song. I just liked it, and we had it on the VCR. And uh, that was in my living room. My piano was one room over, so I would just crank it really loud, trying to figure out. But this is uh, Harold Arlen's Over the Rainbow. Y'all know that one, right?
We have a special surprise for you, but first, Willie Jones, the third on the drums. He has been taking care of me all night. Thank you, brother. Billy Thornton on the bass. I think he just showed off his, his Tifton roots. Um, one of my favorite musicians who happens to be an amazing vocalist and pianist is here. I asked her to sing a few songs with us. Um, uh, can't say enough about her fearlessness and individuality as a musician. This is, <laughs> this is, <laughs> who was that? This is the wonderful Miss Audrey Shakir. Yeah. 
Yes, we can. Bounce? Yes. Yes. Do we? Do you? Do you? Okay. The first song I ever heard her sing. Oh, Jesus. Vagina. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, let me see. About, about 30, 30 or 25 years ago. Yes, when you were a fetus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a while. Yes. Okay. I've overlooked so many things through the years, through the tears, through the years. Then I went and opened my eyes. You were my idea that this all belongs. Now that I found myself just once, I think it is best without a little nest. Here's the best, yeah, the best. I've overlooked so many things through the years, through the tears, through the years. Then I went and opened my eyes. You were my
all the way from the jazz capital of the world, on bass, he's from Tifton, Georgia. This is William Thornton. I met Billy when he was 16. This, this is only two years ago. Yeah, the joke doesn't work as well now, does it? <laughs> no, um, we've been playing together a long time. He's always special, just from the heart, and so glad you're here. Let's hear it again for him one more time. Thank you. Uh, this gentleman on drums, I met him a little over two decades ago on a gig in California at this great club called the Jazz Bakery. And um, after the first set, first we no rehearsal, we just showed up and played, which is what happens. He learned the music, I learned the music, and but he played this solo that reminded me of a very dear and special mentor of mine from Jacksonville, Florida, named Von Barlow. I did right on. Um, amazing man. I used to tell people I went to the, the University of Von Barlow, and he did not play like anyone else. However, that, that first set, he played this solo that just reminded me of Vaughn. And we're, we're chatting like musicians do. I was like, I have to tell you, you remind me of one of my mentors. He says, who, what, who was it? I said, well, you wouldn't know me from Jacksonville. He says, who was it? I said, Vaughn Barlow. He's like, you know Vaughn Barlow. I got this right. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Be careful, you said, I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, you grew up hearing Vaughn play, right? Something like that? He, he played with your dad, yeah. Um, but. Even then, without that connection, even without the connection, as soon as I played with him, I, did, I just felt that connection that we look for. It's, it's funny, those first eight measures with someone new, you're like looking to see, and then you have this moment where you look at each other like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, I haven't played with him much since then. It's been quite a long time, and it was the same time, same experience. We started playing, it's like, yeah, this, this guy. Now, he is, like, like Tamara says, gone to play with all of my idols on piano. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do here? But um, I'm really glad he came here to play with me. This is Willie Jones the third. Yeah. So so I am extra nervous today because my, my mother is sitting right there against the wall. Um, I have not played this song in a long time. Um, I, I think, oh, by the way, my sister is back there too. One of them is there as well. I'm sorry, I can't see because of the lights, but y'all are over there somewhere. Um, this, this is a country song that I like very much, and so did Ray Charles. He recorded it on this record called Mo Modern Sounds of Country Western Music. Um, this is this is a, it's a beautiful song. It's got the blues in it, which all music does. Blues is optimism in the face of adversity, and I like this song. I don't sing, be glad, but you guys will know the words anyway, so you'll feel this is called You Don't Know Me.
Once again, Willie Jones, the third of drums. Billy Thornton on bass. My name is Kevin Bales. That's why it's not the loudest for me. Two of my most favorite musicians and singers happen to be here tonight. Um, one, I've already talked about songs. I'm going to bring you up here to sing, but I want to recognize one of the truly fearless and most individual singers I know in the company of, of the other singer. That it's very unusual. Miss Tia Bricks is here. Yes. Right here. Yes. Right. I, I can't say enough about how much I've seen her like transform audiences with her honesty, which is really special. Thank you for being here today. Our, our special guest has toured the world, played the grand stages, and is uh, as good a pianist as she is a singer. This is the wonderful Audrey Shakir. Yeah.
table. And these three right here. Let's hear it for Ms. Audrey Steer. this song very much. I really like how Billy plays it. Um, this is uh, from a Spike Lee movie. Now his aunt was an amazing aunt named Consuela Lee um, who kind of left her career behind to move to Alabama to create a music program for orphans. Her son, the bassist Willie, wrote this song as the title track for a movie called Mo Better Blues. Yeah. I got to have the fortune of her hearing her play this song one time. She didn't play with bass. It was piano and drums. Sometimes piano, drums, saxophone, trombone, no bass because she played the entire piano, uh, like Art Tatum and Thelonious Monk and and Swell and Lee all combined. Wow. So I, I like to think of her when I play this song, I play it a little better, and it's a good song for the end of the night. You might do one more after it, but this is um, Will Lee's, inspired by his mother Consuela, Lee's song, Low Better Blues.
Let's hear it for Willie Jones the third. <laughs> On bass, all the way from Tifton, Georgia. <laughs> Billy Thornton. How about our special guest, Audrey Shakir? Most important person in the room is my mother in the back. Gail Shepherd. I feel like I'll go over my love of music from her. She doesn't know this, but it's true. And then a big round of applause and thank you for this venue. I've been playing here for, I don't know, 10 years. I love the staff here, all of them, and especially uh, the vision of Tamara Fuller here making this happen. Let's hear it for her. The I, and my name is Kevin Bales. So glad all of you are here. We're gonna finish up this little song, and we should get that. We'll be back in about five jazz minutes, which. It's probably six months, something like that. But um, thank each and every one. Really, so many of my dear friends are here, which makes me extra nervous. But I so appreciate you being here and giving reason to music. Thank you. shows at the velvetnote.com. Let me just make mention for the 15th time this month that this is Jazz Appreciation Month. If we have been waiting throughout the year to appreciate jazz, you have 16 days. <laughs> Let us know what we can do to help. <laughs> On behalf of JB and Sheila and Tommy yes. and Trey and Malachi and Justin and Chef Micaiah Jones. This is what we love to do, which is to bring you closer to artists who inspire you. Closer to each other, and closer to the song that's in your heart. Come and see us again, good night. <laughs>